It's an approach to helping people uh, deal with the difficulties, the disturbances that they experience in their life. Everybody, ourselves included, not, this is not just about people who are described as having some kind of illness or disability or handicap. It's really about everyone. We live in a state of flux, you know. Our, our lives are constantly changing. We like to believe that certain things are fixed or stationary or stable, but really things are moving all the time. If we waited long enough with uh, slow, very slow motion camera work, we would see those changes occurring. So recognizing that we are in a state of flux, we believe within the tidal model that uh, it is folly to try to control our lives. What we need to do is to work out how we navigate our way through all the storms and challenges that life presents to us. And so the tidal model is, is a, a process that we developed originally for people in psychiatric care, but has now been extended out to cover a range of other people with uh, what we would call problems in living. And the approach is focused on trying to help the person to, by telling their story of what they have experienced, uh, how it has affected them, uh, we can lead that story towards beginning to talk about what kind of help the person believes they might need to help them to begin to move on. And to, well, if we use the metaphor of a shipwreck, if someone has been hit by some traumatic events in their life, then that's like a shipwreck. And they have been blown off course. And maybe they think they'll never ever get back on course and take up the voyage of their life again. So the title model focuses on trying to help the person tell us what kind of help might, might help them be useful to them to, to get back on course. But more importantly, how can we help them to realize what resources they have within themselves that will help that kind of recovery and rehabilitation process actually take shape? Um, healthcare professionals and many social care professionals also have told us that um, they originally came into the field because they wanted to help people. This seems rather obvious. But many of them uh, have discovered that there are so many other things that they need to do in their working lives that they find less and less time to focus on actually helping people in that you know, intimate manner. And people tell us that the title model has helped them to get a focus back on what is important. There's working for the organization, working for the institution, making sure that you fill in all the forms and punch in all the data that satisfies the Minister of Health in Copenhagen. That's very important, right? But ultimately, the reason why we are there is to help people. And so that's the commonest thing that people have told us that it helps them get refocused on their vocation. It's an old-fashioned word now, but it's their calling. It's what they were called to do. And it also reinforces their values. You know, why is helping people important? Well, they obviously have certain philosophical values that makes them emphasize being a helper, a helping agent. So. It reinforces that also. And people tell us that they feel better about themselves. They feel more, again, an old philosophical word, more virtuous. They feel good about saying, I'm a psychiatric nurse, or I'm a social worker, uh, or I'm a healthcare assistant. Um, this is a good thing to do.